I think that, that the, in the call process, if it's a congregational call process, typically uh, there's a search committee. And on the search committee, they put representatives, for example. So there's a representative from the trustee ministry, representative from Sunday school, representative from youth, representative from the women's ministry, and they're all there. And they're all listening to all the candidates to make sure that the candidate, you know, takes their ministry seriously. So what are you going to do for the Sunday school? What are you going to do? 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 do? And typically the candidate makes all these promises that are very difficult to sustain and keep. So I would advise to a church, establish a priority of what's most important. Because without a, a priority of what's most important, everything is important. And typically what happens to a younger pastor is, once the younger pastor cannot meet the concern of a particular ministry, such as a Sunday school or a youth, they become dissatisfied. And so rather than the group saying, it's not reasonable that we can expect one person to meet all of these needs and concerns, so what we're going to do is prioritize, meet with the pastor and establish a priority. And maybe we can supplement some of these other areas in other ways. So I find that churches typically don't want to do the hard work of establishing a priority, and when I don't know what the priority is, or everything is a priority, nothing is a priority, and so pastors then are flip-flop back and forth, subject to every criticism, so somebody says, the pastor didn't get to the hospital, you know, I'm upset. Uh, the pastor did not teach the Sunday school class, I'm upset, you know, because everybody expects everything, and if a congregation is not clear on its expectations and negotiate it with the pastor and they agree upon those expectations, I think you can sustain a pastor in ministry because there is an agreement that allows um, a firewall against the criticism that invariably comes.